There are 23 Mexican gray wolves that live at the California Wolf Center spread across 50 acres in Julian. It may seem like plenty of room, but when males get to be one and a half years old, the place gets kind of crowded. Sierra McIsaac says the males become independent and get the itch to leave and start their own pack, a process called dispersal. And we have a pack of wolves where they are, uh, it is mom and dad and seven boys. Uh, and so these, these brothers are starting to have a little bit of tension, but what's really awesome is we are able to have that natural dispersal. That's where the Brookfield Zoo in Chicago comes in. McIsaac, the wolf care coordinator at the Wolf Center, says Brookfield has opened up what she calls a wonderful habitat space. And this week they're going to send three wolves there to imitate the natural process of dispersal of young males. And they're going to be going to Brookfield Zoo, which is really exciting. The California Wolf Center in Julian is part of a nationwide system they call the Mexican Wolf Safe Program. It's a captive breeding program that has brought the species back from the brink of extinction. Teresa Cozen is the executive director of the Wolf Center. She says in the 1970s, their count in the American Southwest got down to 13 in the wild. But recent counts by U.S. Fish and Wildlife have brought much better news. Today, there are at least 257 Mexican gray wolves in the U.S. About 40 percent of them are collared, so there's usually one collared wolf in every pack in the wild. So they use that collar to track them, and then they can do a count of how many we have in the wild. Two years ago, their count increased 23 percent. Last year's census showed it was up another 6 percent. Their habitat is the American Southwest. There are some, but many fewer, in Mexico. Conservation groups increase wild populations with protection programs. They also cross-foster wolf pups born in captivity with pups born in the wild. So let's say we were selected to breed, we would be watching our female, and the moment that we know that she has had puppies, we will contact U.S. Fish and Wildlife, the Mexican Wolf Safe Program, and say, okay, we've had puppies on May 1st. And then they will look at all their wild packs and see if there is a mom out in the wild who's had puppies. If there is a wild den with puppies born right about the same time, the captive pups will be moved there quickly and carefully. They'll be scent marked to match the wild pups and placed in the den when the adult wolves are absent. When the wolves return... Uh, it is uh, the slogan of the cross-fostering program that mom can't count. Uh, and so there they go. They're out in the wild. Uh, and what's really awesome is wolves are very well known for adopting. The management of the endangered Mexican gray wolf in captivity boils down to breeding, introducing pups to the wild, and transferring animals, like the ones going to the Brookfield Zoo in Chicago. Hopefully, in the end, that means wild populations will continue to increase. Tom Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.